Hey everybody, this is Quillen Black. Um, just wanted to update you guys on how I draw my support and resistance levels. Um, this is right here, well you call this video Support and Resistance HD. A follow up from the previous video, you could say. Um, it's, it's still, like the way how I do it is still precise. But this right here is even more accurate um, and more like in depth compared to the other one. Okay, so how I start this pretty much is, this is my chart layout. Everybody should have everything set up already as far as like your um, EMA, your SMA, um, your ADX, um, which is done over phase three. And um, this is the chart setup overall. Um, mainly, the main chart I do stay on is the hour chart, 4 1. And, but when it comes to my markups, I always start off on the daily chart. Okay? Daily chart first. Okay? And for one, okay, so on the daily, it's gonna be red. Um, and these are the horizontal line colors also, to kind of help you guys. H4 is going to be green, H1 is going to be orange, and randoms are, let's say, blue. Okay? I have to keep this right here just, just in case. Too high. I try, I try to keep it like more of like where the price action is currently also, just to make things easier. Those are the colors though, keep that in mind. Okay? So the first thing I start off with is going on the line chart first, just so I can actually see like where the market is rejected a lot of the times compared to um, me being on the candlestick chart first. I'm on the line chart. I try to stay on the line chart only until like around the the daily chart, the H4 chart, the H1 chart. I go back on the candlesticks, and then that's where I kind of just pinpoint certain things. Like I don't really see that that much things on the H1 chart um, that I haven't already got on from the h4 or the daily chart okay so basically the h1 chart is like me just critiquing on um, where everything is supposed to be okay all right so first things first get your horizontal line out um make it red and it, it kind of tells you um, as far as like what level of um strength these horizontal lines have um just from you coloring it i'm saying so like you can say oh yeah oh my god that's a, a daily chart um support level or resistance level you know what i'm saying compared to you not having any kind of indication of like where did you actually place those support and resistance levels okay so what i'm looking for pretty much is multiple touches of this line right here as far as like a lot of indecision on like where the market struggled to pass okay so as you can see like the, this point right here the market came down and touched mark came up and touched mark came down and touched and it struggled like within this area right here clearly okay so you gotta keep that part in mind and just kind of just keep on going, okay. Multiple areas. All right, so this one, this, this line struggled right here. Came down right here. You can see it touched. Came up right here. Struggled. So you can mark that that off as a resistance level. Okay, another one. Right there. It touch, 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 touch. Perfect. Okay. And like I tell everybody, like if you if you do a good markup, you could keep that markup for like about a week and a half or more. Um, just basically update your analysis as you, you go, pretty much. You don't always have to redo your whole chart every single time. Okay, like I only cleared off my chart this time just to show you guys on how I actually do this from scratch, from blank. Okay. All right. Again, struggled right here. So right, right here. And let's see one more. Yeah, you put like right here. Call it it. All right. So from there, on H4 chart. H4 chart is gonna be what color, guys? <laughs> green. The green horizontal line. Okay. Zoom in a bit. Once again, I'm looking for a lot of spikes a lot of spike tips one two three struggle 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 okay and i try to keep like how far i do them as close to price action as possible seeing that the market was in a range within this whole area right here um i'll consider that as relevant um, while I'm, I'm i'm doing this whole process right here everything has to be relevant you can't don't go back and just try to mark off levels from <laughs> like six eight months ago you know what i'm saying just um Mark up, like mark it off as far as like where the current price um is relevant. 
Um, this right here is too far back. This all right here is irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. Down here, the mark was in a range. So I mean, like every every aspect within this area is relevant to like what I'm doing currently, right here, right, right now, pretty much. Okay, green, perfect. Find all these areas, these areas of indecision. If you see like any kind of big gaps between um, a support level or this level, um, more than likely there is a, a level that you're missing within that area right there. Because more than likely there aren't supposed to be like huge gaps. You know I'm saying like the market always struggles in, in certain areas, and um, a lot of times there is no like a big gap type thing. So just make sure you're doing everything correctly. So I'm looking for the most amount of indecision areas. So. To make things even clearer, probably you want to take off your EMA SMAs. Okay. Get it right there. Okay, so from there, on the H1 chart. The H1 chart, I'm not going to really do too, too much, honestly. Um, let's just switch back to our candlestick chart. And um, on this chart, like, let's start critiquing with the orange, okay? Okay. See, so, you know, this right here was based off the H1 chart. Try to touch as much candles, I mean, wicks as possible within this area right here. Okay? So as you can see over here, everything was respected. Struggle over there, came back over here, touched, came back over here, touched, then dropped. On this bottom area right here, try once again, try to make it touch as much wicks as possible. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it right here, mainly because this, this right here is a median, um, with, with, in this area, you can say right here. I don't want to do it all the way down here. I could, but um, I, want, I want to keep in mind that this, this right here is a median of like, this was touched the most amount of times by the wicks wise. Okay, and remember, this is support and resistance HD, very, very in depth. Okay, once again, this right here was median. That was the median. Right here was the median. So, I kind of zoomed in a bit, try to make a touch all three candles right here, all three wicks, as a matter of fact. As I scroll over, I'll see that everything was respected perfectly. Okay. Alright, and see how like these major areas up here are all red? Those were all done on a daily chart. So, when the market gets within that, that range, um, just be alert. Be very, very alert. Um, meaning that like there's a high chance of reversals within those areas inside the market. Okay. Right here, just find a meeting within this area. Touch as many wicks as possible. Okay, perfect. Scroll over here, scroll over here. Perfect. Remember, this is all just to start off your markup. So I'm um, very, very important, guys. Um, just to kind of tell you of like, what level of um, support you see with, within the market, um, which is very, very important, uh, mainly because on the daily chart ones, it's more than likely it's going to re reverse compared to like a lower time frame. Okay, so these right here are very, very important. Um, that's about it. You zoom back out on the forward chart. It seems kind of crazy, but as you zoom into the market, it seems more clear. It's not really as cluttered. And there's no like, um, certain amount that you have to actually have on your chart. Just try to catch all the major points that, that, that the market has as far as all the swings in the market. You know what I'm saying because er everything is relevant within this range that I drew everything on. Um, and it's not as cluttered as um, some people might, might make it seem, honestly. 
if it's making you money, then trust me, it's, it's definitely um, worth it. Worth the time to actually mark everything off and um, have everything as, as accurate as possible. Okay, this right here was a um, initial pattern. Drop, it broke daily support, or daily resistance, you could say. Um, and yeah, just perfect, man. Came out perfect. Everything's critiquing. Okay, so this right here is support resistance HD. Um, you should already know, like, after this, you start doing supply and demand zones and start really, really get in depth with the other things that I, I, I taught you guys also. So, um, see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys like this video um, to get your markups a little better, a little bit more accurate, and catch a lot of bomb ass setups. Alright, peace out.